My name is Clay Wood and I'm a ceramist. Originally, we were a membership studio, so it's a ceramic studio that operates like a gym. Ceramics is a tough hobby to do at home. It's very dirty, you need a kiln, um, which takes like tremendous electrical work. And if you live in a city, you might live in an apartment and you don't, you know, have, you're not allowed to do that kind of electric work or gas or, so a lot of people prefer to make pottery in a collective studio like this. So they pay a monthly fee um, and they get 24 seven access and they come and they get a shelf and they store their work and they um, you know, come whenever they want and we fire their stuff for them. We stock glazes for them to use so they don't have to worry about that. They just buy their own clay, bring their own tools and make whatever they want. That's, that's the main part of the business. Clay on First, right? The original studio next door, which is now just our member studio, that space has been here for about 2009. So yeah, 15 years this November. Um, but then the rest of this space, even the space that we're sitting in right now, we expanded into in 2020. My wife actually runs that shop primarily. We're, we're partners on everything. It's so my wife, Eloise, my wife extraordinaire. Uh, she does at least half of everything here, if not more. Um, definitely all of the social media, all of Cone 11. She definitely handles all of the classes, the scheduling, the website, like emails, does half the production work, uh, makes all the decisions. And when Eloise came to this business, it really went from like the small little space, li literally like physically, it went from like a small little pottery studio, like doubled in space and probably doubled in quality, if not more, <laughs> and just you. like took us to the next level. So. Yeah. Eloise. Hi, I'm Eloise. <laughs> So today, uh, what we've got going on, it's a corporate event. Um, normally, in our classes, we only have 10 pottery wheels in our classroom. So we don't go over like eight students per class, but we have 44 coming today. So it's going to be total chaos, but, you know, we like rearrange the whole retail store and everything. So, you know, we do it. If people, people want to do it, we can make it happen. So... So, I mean, like I said, my name was Clay. So uh, that was kind of like the push that got me in the studio. Um, naturally, you know, like I'm not really an artistic person. I'm really kind of like a math and science brain. Um, but, you know, pottery is kind of like a, like a lot. There's par parts of it that are a learned skill. Like using a pottery wheel is something you practice over and over and you can become good at. Um, whereas, like, I'm not naturally creative. I like to play with like materials and make things. I like tactile, uh, like working with my hands. Like when I'm not making pottery, I like to build things. I used to do construction. Like actually, since I opened this business, I started doing construction primarily because I enjoy it. So pottery, I enjoy because I can make something. Um, in addition, as an art form, there's a lot of science involved because you know it's really geology. Like we're taking rocks and we melt them in a kiln. We're causing a chemical reaction, so there's chemistry. Like we have fluxes that are melting silica and melting glazes, and then we're using different oxides to create different colors. And you know, there's a lot of like intricate math and science type things. This is our classroom. Um, we teach a variety of classes in here. We have uh, hand building classes where they work on this table and wheel throwing classes here. Okay, so this is like our production area. Um, you know, we are kind of like a light manufacturer or small batch artisan products. These are the products that we make. So these are the hookah bowls, right? So these are finished products that are waiting to be shipped out. So, you know, just 25 in a box, all glazed up. Pretty colors. And this is kind of like the shipping area. This is the retail store area. Um, but like I said earlier, we have a huge class in here today, so we've totally rearranged everything. Code 11 Studio, 
which is the retail store and the classroom and the production space, that was all our 2020 expansion. So originally though, Clay First was just this space right here. Now, this is, we used to teach all the classes in here. We used to actually have a retail storefront as well. So all slammed into a smaller space. But now this is just the membership studio and the classes are elsewhere, the retail is elsewhere, the production is elsewhere. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, I would say jack of all pottery trades. You know, so like I know pottery equipment, like anything in this studio, I can like dismantle and put back together. Anything electrical, I can troubleshoot. Anything plumbing, anything that fine, but like you pretty much have to take control of everything yourself. Like you're forced to. And I actually, I like that. I like that because I get bored easily. So I like the fact that I end up being a jack of all trades. I like learning new things and new things and pushing the business and that sort of thing. I just love everything about pottery, pottery studios, the science, everything. Like it's just a perfect fit for like who I am as a person.